Now the story with this coat, Philippe, is what? Somebody gave it to you or you found it at a I thrift found store? It in or? a thrift store in Branch Village. Okay. Um, quite a few years ago. Oh, in New York City? Yeah. Oh, okay. And, um, I have not been able, to, well, I, at the time I was able to wear it. I was much smaller okay. at the time. I, you know, I used to wear a belt with it and I used to uh, oh. sew pads with it. I mean, you know, it was just a whole bunch of. You just made it work. You yeah, found it and work. you made it work. Yeah, just threw it on. Okay. But it's such a solid coat. Okay. You know, I just did not let it go. A half an inch here. And then around the back, it's going to be like one inch, two inch, three inch. So, like, total of three inches out of the back. Okay. And then, like, another two inches out of the sleeve. And only, we're only taking a half an inch off of the shoulder. Okay. See, perfect. I like the way that it's shaping up already. And I like the fact that right here, you can actually see contouring at the waist. It's going to look nice. And I like that we're evening out the bottom, too. Okay, one of the first things I did was take some red thread and create some reminder notches. See that? At the underarm, at the sleeve cap, and at my front where my overlap is going to go. Okay? That's going to help us to stay on point. That's what we want square across the bottom. Okay, now that the buttons are off and I've got all my markings done, I'm going to start razoring it apart, but starting from the bottom and then working my way inside. We're going to remove all this old interfacing that's just rotten over the years. This coat is probably from like the 50s or the 60s. So you see this? Uh, this is like infection in the hem. <laughs> okay, so now I've sewn together the seams, taken everything in according to how we had it pinned. But see here at the center back, I went ahead and sewed the slit closed so I can get my line precise after I interface it. Then I'm going to open it up and that's going to give me the perfect straight slit line. Okay, now look at the back. See how much better contoured that is? Clean. The sleeves have been set in. And as you can see, my tailor's tag, it matches up perfectly with my sleeve cap at the top. Hangs great. The ease is still in there. Now I've got to add the shoulder pad and the sleeve header, and it's going to be great. Now, before we can actually put the sleeve lining in, we've got to go in here and actually attach this body part to the armhole. Okay, by machine, we're going to stitch it from here to here and then we're going to attach it by hand through the shoulder pad and the sleeve header, okay? Initially I was going to use like one of those traditional leather uh, knotted buttons that you see like on equestrian jackets um, and then I went through my button selection and I came across these. Isn't this button perfect? It's like chunky and it has the actual like pattern embossed inside the middle of the button. Look at that. And I love that this is like a chunky ridge around the outer part of the button and that goes with the same detail of the top stitch here and the chunkiness of the top stitch there. Love that balance. And I like the fact that uh, the client can wear this as a dressy or casual coat now. It's not limited. This classic. Oh, wow, this is really nice. Yeah. Nothing like it, right? Mm -mm. Hey, you, people pay for this. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's like you don't have to be like 
uber rich to have something custom tailored to you. Exactly. You not know, to look the part. Nowadays, you know, once you get past your resume, you got to be able to walk right through the door. Yeah. So, I like that. And custom made, you know, the more they taper the right. look, the more expensive it looks. It looks, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's great right there, Philippe. Show that back. Yeah, I love the way it hangs, so yeah. precise. The lines, how it all just... Yeah, I like the back. Yeah, back as well. Oh, Patrick. Now let's do this, Philippe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the perfect scarf, uh -huh. gloves, hat. Oh, yeah, I love it. I'm going to take a picture. I'm sure people will be stopping you and asking, where'd you get your coat? Say, Dr. Stitch. 